Welcome. And today I will show a video of policy gradient reinforcement learning. I have made a C++ program with OpenCV who playing a, a toy example where the the goal for this for this machine learning is to avoid the, the rectangle but catching the circle. And uh, now it have run for many, many iterations. And if uh, we look here, here is the input is uh, for this uh, two layer of fully connected uh, reinforcement learning is 50 by 50 pixels in this uh, area here. Uh, sorry, we could go back. This is uh, the input pixels. 50 by 50 pi pixels and 100 frames and to show the first layer of the fully connected linear uh, linear layer or so fully connected is here I show some of uh, all of the features in uh, in this uh, learning and the first row here uh, show uh, the first frame of several some of the features not all of the features but some of the features because if I will show all the features this uh, feature map will be too large to display on the on the uh, on the screen so uh, you can see here it have learned some of the features here and the second layer of the fully connected uh, features is represented by this. It's just, you cannot <laughs> understand it, but some of these point pointing towards, for example, one of these uh, features. And, and here on the second row, there is, uh, this is some feature representation of uh, frame number five and here at the bottom line of boxes you see the features of frame number uh, 100 so there are very large number of uh, uh, weights as usual in in, uh, in uh, machine learning uh, it have run for many iterations and um, then it have apparently learn some interesting features so so um, I will show how it looks when you start from the beginning this is just an image of uh, the full screen but it's shrink it down to this and to advance this approach you will add on uh, uh, convolution layers of course then it will uh, predict and learn and could do much more advanced tasks of course but this is the basics so I will stop here and uh, go to this uh, source I can remove my camera you don't need to see that and uh, then uh, you need OpenCV installed uh, so I download this mm. Do, 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 do. Read me. Sorry. Do, 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 do. Download the repository. And then, if you want, you could also extract uh, 
my already learned. Anyway, you have to have OpenCV installed and uh, also uh, May. So we do like this. So now we can start the application and uh, one thing common used in reinforcement learning is to use a dice. And here uh, I just presented uh, the, the situation during a learning process how it will represent the dice because it uses also a dice. At the beginning the standard deviation is very high and you have a very fair fair dice to explore in the in the large uh, large policy network. So it starts with this uh, quite fair dice but during the training process it will uh, the dice will be a more uh, un unfair type of dice and follow very narrow my narrow uh, wide uh, not uh, very broad uh, exploring the network it narrows and that's a common way and here we do some of the questions do would you like to add noise no i don't would you use default setting yes and i start here with no at the beginning so now we see that the features are inertialized with uh, just random uh, noise and now it takes many many iterations and we see here that the wind probability will uh, converge to uh, at the beginning to about 0 0.5 because we uh, throw out uh, rectangles and we throw out circles at uh, probability a uh, random probability of uh, 0 0.5 as well uh, so it will converge to 0 0.5 here. I'm pretty sure about that. If you have a random, at this uh, case it was, uh, anyway, to, um, to test my 100,000 iterations uh, of, uh, training you can use these two commands instead of, of so then we stop this and run these uh, two commands and then unzip this uh, now we have uh, these these uh, two uh, hidden nodes are all the weights are extracted so we could start uh, and here we see again the presentation <laughs> it was just a presentation how the dice will work during uh, the training so at the beginning it tests everywhere in the in the network but at the end of the training when it have run very many iteration then the dice will look like that instead so this was uh, just uh, no i don't want to that i was i want to use default setting and yes then we see our features again so that was all for this and the continue i will try to continue this in P pytorch with gpu and uh, 
convolutions. Bye bye so far. So good.